Hello, this is Les. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show and run the third uh, miniature four-stroke internal combustion engine that I've built. This one um, has the same bore and stroke as the uh, other two engines, a half-inch stroke and uh, slightly larger than half inch bore and the reason for that is because I used a piece of steel pipe for the uh, cylinder sleeve and that happened to be just a it's a nominal size half inch pipe but it's just a little bit larger um, in diameter in ID um, as you can see this engine is a horizontal cylinder and it's water cooled this little tank on the top um, is for the cooling water you put that in there and it circles or circulates around the uh, the cylinder and uh, cools it um, although I really haven't run the engine long enough for it to get very warm where it's actually started to boil the water um, this engine is um, also what is known as a hit and miss engine uh, it has uh, basically an automatic or an atmospheric in intake valve. Uh, there's no uh, rocker arm and push rod to activate it. It's just sucked in by the uh, vacuum created when the piston is going down, and that sucks in the, uh, the gas and air mixture. Uh, this little mixing device on the bottom right here uh, has a needle valve for controlling the fuel the fuel tank which is uh, on the back here and uh, the exhaust valve uh, does have a rocker arm and connecting rod and um, There's a little mechanism in here that holds the exhaust valve open when the engine reaches a high enough speed to where these, these weights uh, spin out. These are governor weights. And when they spin out, they move a little, little latch over and that holds the exhaust valve open and when the exhaust valve is open the engine just coasts along it doesn't soak, suck in any fuel um, until it slows down uh, and the latch releases and the valve starts working again and it starts sucking in fuel and firing again um, the ignition system is right here It's made up from, it's made from one of these devices right here, which is a very inexpensive uh, gas stove lighter. I if you can see the spark in there. So anyway, you take this all apart, take the components out, um, add a couple of new electronic components, a larger um, capacitor, some larger um, transistors, and, uh, and so forth. Operates on a single AA battery. I will uh, add some fuel right now and uh, start it up show you how it runs the fuel is uh, Coleman lantern fuel um, they'll also run good on just regular uh, pumped gas but this is a little bit milder of a, of a, of a fuel it doesn't have the strong odor of gasoline and so it's a little nicer for running, uh, especially in my workshop here. 
I don't run it for very long because the fumes do build up. So if I was going to run it for an extended period of time, I would uh, put water in this little hopper on the top for, for cooling, but I won't be running it for that long, so I'm not going to do that. Um, maybe add a little bit of oil in a few spots. So you prime the engine by holding your finger over the uh, air intake and that creates a little greater suction for uh, sucking fuel in. First of all, I've got to turn on the gas. I think that's about where it runs best. And then uh, suck in some fuel. Turn the ignition on. So here you can see the governor going in and out. Whoops. If I if I put a load on the engine, you will hear it start to fire more often. So you can hear it fire and then coast. And uh, looking right through here, you can see that little governor uh, expanding, and that's when it uh, it locks out the uh, exhaust valve. So it shows that the engine is running, uh, well the tachometer reads uh, 2,960, but it's set for a three blade prop and there's actually six spokes. So um, it would be half this number, it would be running at uh, about 1,500 about 1500 RPMs and uh, I guess if I uh,
So one thing I'm a little disappointed in is the uh, gears. I uh, had some gears that I used and uh, they weren't very good gears. They're making a lot of noise, which I think takes away from the uh, appeal of the engine a little bit. What I was going to say earlier is I should uh, count the number of times the engine fires in a minute and then I would know how many revolutions it's coasting and how many revolutions it's firing uh, per minute. It did determine that the speed of the engine is about 1500 RPMs right now. 